The Cotswold District in South Central England is famous for its green rolling hills and especially for its honey-colored stone villages. We're starting our explorations in perhaps the most beautiful village in all of the Cotswolds and perhaps in all of England or the world for that matter, it's Castlecombe, a perfect postcard village. Fortunately, we've arrived early in the day in the off season, so it seems as if we have this little town all to ourselves. We can appreciate the exquisite beauty of this special place without any crowds or distractions. The classic view is across from the little stone bridge with the stream flowing next to what had been the weaver's cottages. In olden days, the stream provided water power for the woolen mill. The village center has a couple of cafes and it's built around a 14th century market cross with the water pump and the 12th century St. Andrew's Church. But it's this one particular view looking across the stream into the village that makes Castlecombe uniquely beautiful. As the first village on our day's tour, which starts out from the city of Bath, Castlecombe created a very high standard of beauty, but other villages along the way are also worth a visit. Malmesbury, a market town in the southern Cotswold County of Wiltshire, is particularly famous for its old church, the Malmesbury Abbey. This 12th century church is located next to what is reputed to be the oldest hotel in England, dating from the 13th century, the Old Bell. A short drive in the countryside soon brings us to Bybury. The small Colne River is a tributary of the Thames and makes an idyllic setting for these stone houses and their pretty flower gardens. The main historic attraction in Bybury is Arlington Row this line of picturesque cottages that were first built from 1380 as wool storerooms, and then they were converted into weaver's cottages in the 17th century. A pleasant footpath leads you right through this little hamlet, which is, of course, a protected historic site. And then you circle around back to where you started in Byberry and come to the trout farm. You can have a look from the outside into this pretty gardens and trout farm with its little streams and ponds, but to go inside you pay an admission. Or you can just visit the cafe, take a break, get a sandwich, use the facilities, and enjoy the scenery for free. After a little break, we continue on our Cotswolds exploration on this day trip that's conducted by Mad Max Tours. Stow on the Wold is one of the larger and more famous of the towns of the Cotswolds, and it's got a lot of restaurants and shops and several main streets, so it makes a very good place to take a break in the middle of the day, do a little shopping, and have lunch. The large market square and busy streets testify to the town's former importance and to its current popularity. It's an important shopping center with antique shops and art galleries and gifts and craft stores and a variety of restaurants in all prices. It's a center for some of the different hiking trails that extend out into the Cotswolds. The Porch House restaurant also offers high quality accommodations in a building with sections dating back a thousand years but thoroughly renovated today. St. Edward's is a medieval church with cut stone and stained glass and a very attractive doorway surrounded by yew trees, kind of like out of Lord of the Rings. The garden and old graveyard out back provide a tranquil oasis to relax and play. The Cotswolds are definitely rural with horses, green fields, and sheep, and yet sprinkled with so many of these little stone villages. The little stream flowing through Lower Slaughter helps explain the name. Slaughter means muddy pool, not a butchery. It's a village that goes back a thousand years along with its twin Upper Slaughter. Visitors can enjoy horseback riding and a variety of leisure activities, especially if you're staying at the Slaughter's Manor House, a five-star deluxe hotel in a thoroughly renovated 17th century mansion.
originally called the Manor House, with a restaurant terrace open to the public. There was a farm festival going on nearby, which gives the tractor owners and farmers a great reason to roll out their tractors on a Sunday afternoon and show them off. There's still a lot of farming taking place in the Cotswolds. Nearby is Borton on the Water, another quaint village on a stream. The tiny footbridges give it a magical charm. The dog relished an opportunity to play around in the stream and then hop out and shake off. Borton on the Water has managed to preserve very nicely its small historic center despite the crowds it attracts and new modern housing in the outskirts. Arriving now at Tetbury, the final village of our full day excursion into the Cotswolds. Tetbury is considered another architectural gem with many of the original wool merchants' houses remaining the same as they were in the 16th and 17th centuries during the height of the town's prosperity from the wool trade. The most remarkable historic landmark in town is the Market House, a fine example of a Cotswolds pillared market and is still used as a meeting place and market today, originally built back in 1655. The main street is a very busy place lined with shops and another very old hotel, buildings that date back several hundred years and made of Cotswold stone. That completes our visit to this beautiful part of England and now we return to the city of Bath, located at the southern edge of the Cotswolds. If you have any questions or comments about Bath, type it in down below and I'll be happy to answer and respond. All travel suggestions, questions, and comments are very welcome. This video was photographed on a recent trip with many more episodes coming to our YouTube channel. We upload a new travel movie every week, so if you want to be informed, please subscribe. We have more movies about Bath on our YouTube channel where you'll also find more than a thousand other travel movies, mostly about Europe, but also Asia, South America, and North America. Have a look. And you can also find the movies listed on our website, tourvideos.com. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we upload new movies every week, so you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.